Right now, I will show you exactly two ways how you can filter through your photos on your iPhone. Now, of course, we're going to use the basic photos or gallery app. Nothing really specific about that. Everyone should have it. So, of course, open it up like this and you can get into multiple different sections. So at the bottom in the tab bar, you can search through photos or go to the library slash albums. For you, it's probably not something that you want to watch. It's like a feed of the memories and stuff. But if you want to browse through all of the photos, you either go to the library or albums. So let's start in the library. As you go in here, you can, of course, this is the section where you can zoom it out and in. So that's how it works. This is very useful. But in the upper right corner, we have the three dots and the option to filter. So if you click on filter, you may choose all items or just the favorites, the ones that you edited, the photos, the videos, and click on all filters. And you can, of course, include the shared with you or not. And here you can click on whatever you want. You can even see at the bottom how many photos and results are available. So that's something to, to pay attention to. And this is the basic filter of the Photos app on the iPhone. Now, this is the simple one which you can go through using the library button at the bottom. But also, there is a different way to filter them because this was just by the edits and uh, the photos, videos and shared. But there are other criteria and things which you may pay attention to when searching for photos. So what you can also do is to click on the albums. And if you scroll down in this section all the way to the bottom, you can sort through the media types, for example. So again, you have the option to look up the videos or just the live photos, seeing exactly how many are available. Just the panoramas or the 360 photos, screenshots, screen recordings, many different stuff. So I believe that the album section actually provides you with more filtering options because you can do it right here. And also at the bottom, you have some pictures which are, have been imported. So in case somebody just shares you something through uh, AirDrop or you download it from the internet, it's going to appear in this section. So perhaps you want to only show the pictures which you have downloaded or the duplicates which you have duplicated, the hidden which are locked and also the recently deleted which are locked as well. So something to, to filter through as well. And also another option is just click on a share and in here there are like categories like you can search for food and it's going to show you all of the food items. So that's an option as well or vehicles, sports, art, many different stuff. So you can even search for, I don't know, like dog. And yeah, I, you cannot find it in here. Some hot dog. It's not hot dog, of course, but yeah, it depends. So you can, for example, look up the car and there are probably some kind of, you can see carrot, caramel, some stuff. Yeah, you have the option to f filter through the photos using the library albums and actual manual filter using the search. So these are all the options how you can do it. And also, if you use your iPhone like that, you need to know much more about it. That's why I created this free educational platform called Foxtech. It's linked down below. As I say, you can join it for free. And inside, you can find social media section for video editing course. You can find iPhone apps explained section where you have in-depth guides for many different things. Really cool. Very useful. So definitely check it out. It's free to join. So yeah, it's going to be linked down below, but I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below. See you guys later in the future.